Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17, our Gold Crest Valley map. And you can see the, the money ticking down over there. We've got two hired workers going right now. Let's just make sure that nothing changed on me. We are not paying for their fuel and seed and what have you, right? Where is that? This one? This one. All right, fuel usage is default. Uh, helper refill off, off, all fiber off. Okay. So, we've got to remember when the sowing is done in this field to uh, uh, to go through and refill the sower. But, what field is that? KLCBsoft has been writing to me saying he's having trouble with field 12. That's the one that we're doing. He would not sow for him. The hired help would get started and stop. And then get started and stop. We started from... We drove up to the top, that's right. We drove up here because the cultivator was sitting right here. So we drove back over to here with it and started it up and it's worked fine. So for us, it's working. So, sorry Klaus, don't know what uh, what happened on yours, but it's, it's functioning on this one. So here's proof it does work somewhere. So, anyway, uh, we're done there. What is our plan today? Let me think about that. We're talking about getting a hold of a tractor eventually to go and pick up a trailer and some more seed and fertilizer and a front loader onto one of these tractors. Uh, we'll figure out which one is the least amount of hours. That's the one we will outfit. And then uh, it'll give us something to do while all these hired hands are working. But while our hired hands are working and our money is ticking away, let's head over here and go find a job to do so we can earn some money to make up for that. What do we want to do that's fairly small? We want to buy 19 eventually. We want to buy 11 eventually. 11 is planted in canola. And let's see here. Growth is at stage 3 of growing. There may be a fertilizing stage in there to do. How about 19? Same thing, might need a fertilizing. Let's drive down to 19 and see uh, see what they need done. And I'm recording this one right after the other one. I just realized right now, I didn't check to see if the, uh, the sound levels were fine since we boosted a little bit in the vehicle. So we're gonna get a couple of episodes here at that sound level, hopefully, hopefully they're, uh, uh, you can hear me all of this. That's more frustrating than have background noise. It's too loud to hear the comments. Um, we're coming up on it here. That's right. That little dirt road there gets you there. 25 miles an hour. So we'll pull down into here and see what he has for us. Also, I did take down all of the settings that had said ultra high in the graphics and took them all down to high. And then took all of the distances, all of the loading distances for the various things, the grasses and the and the, the, the trees and and uh, all the environment, how far away you want to be able to see it in in high quality, high resolution. So I took all those down quite a bit from like 150 down to 120. Maybe we'll eventually drop them down to 100. But uh, we'll see if we have any lag problems. Up until now, I've not been able to do a second episode in a row without restarting the computer so so far we're doing fine so maybe that will solve the issue for me all right this is what i need to go buy i want to get one of these onto the farm this guy goes in the back this guy goes onto the front and acts as a reserve tank pipes over to spray out the back end as well so you can carry more for larger fields we won't have the need to purchase this yet this one's going to be enough to do any of our fields maybe enough to do close to at least two of our fields at a time. So here's our uh, um, New Holland tractor, probably the same one that we've got. And this is what we want to go buy. So it'll be a good chance to see all of this. Um, wants to pay us $2,000, so figure maybe a $1,000 bonus. So we'll get into the 40s, low 40s when we're done. Five and a half minutes running time on this mission. Let's do it, start. Drops us into the vehicle. Fired up the New Holland. Is this the same one that we've got? 
Looks like it. Don't know if the number's the same, though. There's a few, several of New Hollands in the, uh, in the game. All right, let's back up. I'm never going to get real high bonuses on these, because I do talk while I'm doing this. It's kind of the point of the Let's Play. So it's not going to be the same as, as you doing your own. But I like this sprayer because the uh, uh, I like the animation of it unfolding. Just got to think about my DPI switch. Need to check that one. Q. So where am I at here? One more switch. Yeah, I've got one more. There we go. That's good. All right, let's watch this guy unfold. Those arms down there will. Uh, what those do? They will rub in the soil and give you a mark. Yeah, they will. I'm thinking they'll leave you a mark so you know where to uh, to do your next row. Though maybe not on fields that already have plants. Yeah, a little bit too uh, up there. All right, so I'm going to skip the pedals. All right, go and B. There it is. Getting uh, aggressive here. Now, can I run this up in the air? I can. It'll still function. Go do that. I think the idea is to get it down low on a windy day. It sounds logical. All right, here's the fun part. Turn that off. Spin it around. Don't whack that thing into the rocks. So we want to be right about here. It looks like. So B and go. Right like so. Get uh, as close to 100% coverage each pass. Get this, this mission done. Yeah, it looks pretty good right there. Track it that way. Look at the uh, the rows over the top of the cab. What are we doing over here? We're missing a little bit. We'll tap it in a little. used to this, you know, how far to swing it to land in the right spot each time. But I'm not quite there. Now here's the hard part. We just have a small row left. I probably should have turned and gone this other direction. It may have been better. Because we're going to have to run back on this skinny little row so only a little bit of our, of our uh, fertilizer is going to actually make contact. We're still going to have to run most of the row to make this work. So I think it's still going to be faster than trying to go this direction to finish that off. Though you would make more contact. Uh -huh. So, full speed, we just got to get near the center of this guy. You probably wouldn't do this on your own field. I would turn 90 degrees of this and just do some little bursts and save the uh, fertilizer. But it's going to be enough to finish. Oh, interesting. Under two minutes, your timer goes red. Huh. This will be enough to finish the uh, the challenge here. There it goes. So I gained this. Wow. They really are not as generous on the, uh, the bonuses. That must have been tweaked with that update. Because everything I did that first day before I started recording was almost one for one. So that must have just been a little too OP, a little too generous, and they backed it down. That's my guess. Or else... I'm getting laggy again? I'm getting laggy. Darn, darn, darn. Alright. Anyway, let's back up. May have to uh, shut down the recording and, and reboot the system to finish this. We'll see if it cleans itself up. So, it looks like no matter what I do, I'm going to have graphic issues while I'm recording. Yep, that may be the case. So that may pop out of here, then, then fade back in and, and uh, continue on. Although, I'll have to go restart all the equipment if I do. Yeah, that lags too much. Yeah, too much. That's... That's almost going to get you nauseous. Okay. I will be right back. Alright. So, back 
Yeah, looks much better. Okay, what were we doing? So it looks like I'm not going to be able to record two episodes in a row. we got to go turn all these guys on again. Let's drive out there. And fire him up. My pedal going there. There I am. I have to get some uh, episodes recorded of Banished and Rimworld today as well. I was going to do that now, but I just got into this game again, and it was so much fun. I want to do some more. So... The hard part, let's see, E, is going from all the controls I'm just getting used to in this game and going back to playing Banished. I'm going to be trying to drive around the map over there. It's going to be comical. Back him up a little bit, hire him out, jump out. And let's see, DPI switch, there we are. Run down over here. Get this one going again. Back it up a little. Fire him out, jump out of there. Alright, back to our pickup. So, when this field is done, we'll have a tractor freed up. You know, I didn't check again to see what the hours are. Er, okay. This one's got five and a half hours. He's fairly new. So what should we do? So, oh, we have a sower to get going over here. All right, let's go do that. I wish this was powerful enough to, to spin the back wheels when you take off and kick dirt around. That's what you do on a ranch, on a farm, with your pickup anyway. All right, there he is. Run up there and get that one cleared up. And while we're at it, uh, E, we'll come back to this guy in a second. Show you what that's all about. So we're sowing. Uh, yeah, we're sowing. Interesting. This is what Klaus was talking about. Okay, let's take a look at something here. So, well, canola, it's half done. Even though I'm not seeing seeds in the ground. Because these seeds are tiny little black dots, aren't they? Yeah, we're not going to see these seeds. Canola's tiny little black dots. Unlike other ones, you'll see, uh, you know, if you planted corn, you'd see little yellow dots in there. Okay, maybe, well, we'll let this one finish and see, uh, all right, so this one, 41 hours. This is our older tractor. So the one running the cultivator is the one that is actually going to be freed up. Good, and that's the one that we want to put the, the front loader on. All right, that works out well. Back up and higher, jump out. Oh, sorry, excuse me. And there's our worker there. All right, back over here. So we've got here a fountain. In fountains like these, you can refill your water tanks. But it's very expensive. So you can bring your water tank over here and hit the R and it'll start to fill up. Nice animations. A fun little thing there. But um, you got to pay for it. I haven't done it yet, but I'm told if you go over to the river and fill up, it's free. So we will try that. There's also the big water tanks like you'll see alongside the uh, the railroad. You can get up next to those guys and you can fill up, hit the R. But I believe you got to pay for that as well. Okay, so that's done. What I was going to do, and let's back up a bit because we're going to... Uh, the sound of the tractor soon but what do we want to go and do we just did 19 19 is going to be sugar beets yeah i remember seeing that when we first went down there trying to guess what was what that was there's also oil radish oil seed radish is that what it's called i don't see it listed here oh there it is right there okay that's something we'll get into one of these days we could do that one with one of these fields just because I've not done it before. Yeah. Let's try to remember to put oilseed radish in that. In 14. Um. Interesting. It acts as a layer of fertilizer. You'll grow it. And instead of harvest it, you'll cultivate it right back in. And it acts as a layer of fertilizer. Only our sower also puts down a layer of fertilizer. So what will happen there? 
When it gets cultivated, will we go immediately to fertilization level two? That middle blue. That's very possible. You can see we're sowing field 12 and we are putting in fertilizer as well as canola. And we are on our first layer, first uh, stage of growth. So there's all your different colors, all your different uh, charts here, how to use all that. So we're going to do what? 19 now is sugar beets. It is, it's never been plowed. We're going to get plowing orders here soon and for, for uh, contracting jobs. And I'm going to pass, well, I, I say that if we get to a bigger one, they're probably going to have some of the real large plows with the big equipment. And that might actually be kind of fun to do. But um, 19 is still growing and 11 is still growing. 19 we just fertilized, so there will be nothing to do there until we get ready to harvest. So nothing we can do there. These guys here would be nice to get a hold of someday. We definitely need to work on these so we can get the price down. At least these two. So hit this road, move across. Yeah, it would be nice to grab 19, 22, 23, 24, 18, and 11. Be a nice little group right there. And if we're at 19, I guess it wouldn't be too difficult if we're already here anyway, just to right up the road here to hit 16. So eventually we'll add that to our little empire as well, our little operation here. Afterward, uh, tactic would be maybe get a hold of a farm next to the cows and one next to the pigs to grow things that would be used to feed them with, you know, corn as, as part of your, your, your feed. That's sort of a, of a thing. You leave, uh, you'll have a set of, of tractors that you just leave over there. And that way you're not making the big trips back and forth to get uh, that water tank to water the troughs over here and go all the way across and water the troughs there. You'll have one in each one. But anyway, still, what are we doing? 11 is growing and we sprayed that one already, right? That's what we did there? Yeah, we, we fertilized that one. And we fertilized 19. So nothing to do with those. We have these three here as candidates for smaller fields. Diagonal line right here might be kind of interesting to see how we interact with that. So 23 is harvested. Oh, okay. What do we know about it? It was sunflower. And it probably needs to be plowed. Yeah. Well, let's go look at it. Let's go see what that means. So 23, down the road, take a left before we, or right, before we get to the road. No, we got to get down to the intersection. That's where the eye is. So we got to go there. All right, let's go down there. Can we get there from here? I see this curves around. It's this way. Hear the chickens out there. They haven't gone through to collect eggs today. Boy, take off and let go, and it immediately stops. Yeah, this guy's definitely driving with a parking brake. Hopefully, they can they will adjust that eventually. Some update to the game. This truck should coast for quite some time. All right, so we're heading down to the intersection. I've never looked for road signs. Don't know. I assume that that's a, a main highway right there, just by the, the graphics at, at both ends where it goes into a main tunnel to enter and leave the map way down there. So that must be a, a highway, but it'd be nice if there were road signs here so we can name our roads. We're going to cut right into here, and actually we're going to go over here like that. All right, what have you got for us? All right, my buddy at the biogas plant just hooked me up with a nice tank of slurry. Good thing, too. This last harvest really did a number on our soil. If you've got some skills with a sprayer, I could sure use you to fertilize my field. $5,180 when all said and done. 
Farmer Harris. Okay. He wants 151000 for this field. Wow. He's going to offer us 5180 which the rate that I'm going means a bonus of 500 <laughs> And we've got the JVC tractor here. We had that once before, and I didn't stop to really look at it. I think back in field 11. I noticed that as I was editing, I didn't really show it off, so we need to do that. This guy will spray slurry. Slurry... I want to say is, let's see, biogas, bio but I'm thinking that you'll also get this from uh, the farms. So, shall we say liquid pig poo? Maybe that's one way to, to do that. Rotting whatevers and probably rotting uh, vegetation in there. Just stuff that, basic building blocks for new plants to, uh, to thrive in. Got our weight over here, pops into there. Yeah, let's do this and see what we get out of it. All right, this guy reminds me of like the front of a semi truck. It also kind of feels like a forklift in some ways. I don't know, it's just odd. Does this have the cab not go to the back? And yet there isn't a uh, um, oh, I forgot the word the the hitch for a, that a semi will have. You know, to you see it in the back of of a pickup truck sometimes where your, your big uh, trailers will, will hook right into it. So I, I would expect to see that right there in that, that flat spot, but it doesn't have it. Anyway, our timer is definitely running. Let's get this guy going. Pick up the weight. Right there, Q. There we are. Go forward. I wonder if we can see out the window in this one. Yeah, pretty good. Over like so. Just a ball hitch down there. Q. We're in. C. Looks like that. Yeah. So, what do we do with this guy? X will unfold. Flips all the way around. They spray out the end of those tubes there, right? What's V do? That takes you down like that. Yeah. Alright, so... B probably turns it on. I'm going to hit V and take that back up again. No, it didn't work. B isn't pumping. Why is it not pumping? I guess it is. Yep, it's working. Okay. I guess I'm used to seeing, uh, seeing it uh, spraying, but I've thinking what's going on here is we've got rubber tips that work themselves down into the soil and actually uh, puts the soil deeper in. This has been planted. No, this has been harvested. That's the bottom of sunflower stalks, isn't it? Yeah. So that's actually almost like it's injecting the fertilizer down into the soil rather than just, just uh, coating the surface. Interesting. So I'm instead going to hit B and V. Dude, whoops, sorry about that. I'm messing up the next guy's field. And come in something like that. V and B. But I can do it all with my thumb, that's why I'm really enjoying this new mouse. Those are the two buttons you use the most when you work in the field, and I can quickly tap both of them. Right on the side of the mouse over here. And that was the, uh, the Logitech G403. I did a lot of uh, looking at mice online and ended up with this one. as one of the best ones for the money. There are gaming mice that have got all kinds of buttons. So many that I know I'll spend most of my time just staring at trying to figure out what I was supposed to push next. So I'm going to rely on the keyboard for most of it. Nobody coming on the road. Boom, boom. Spin. This tractor turns too fast. Looks like it's bearing the, the wheels into the uh, tongue of the trailer there. So I'm going to have to make sure not to just crank the steering all the way around and, and start dragging them into each other. That's where a, a wheel would be better. You could turn it partially. Notice that with a lot of trailers too, you crank it all the way around and you'll end up dragging your wheels into the, the tongue right there and just grinding. It'll, it'll try to you know, rock the trailer when I flip it. I have 
after this we'll jump in the cab and take a look around and see what it looks like inside there. Alright, click, click, spin. About like that. Click in there. Alright, a little closer next time. Cab! There's an option in the uh, menu to choose whether you want to be looking out front when you get to the cab or looking in the direction that you were when you clicked in. I need to reset it so I'm looking forward. I end up all over the place when I pop in. Anyway, what are we doing out there? Oh, perfect. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the little rubber nozzles just working themselves up and down. Okay, the controls over here. A little bit of uh, computerized uh, uh, display over there. Passenger seat. Good mirror. Oops, I'm drifting. Put back out. That's why it slows down as I'm dragging it into the back wheel there. There we go. Alignment. Yeah, decent. So. This looks like it'd be a lot of fun to drive. Looks comfortable. Yeah, it looks like quality. Unlike an old tractor that uh, I'm doing out there. I'm overlapping a bit. Where everything is rickety and, and uh, hard. Looks like there's some soft surfaces in here. Climate control, your air vents. Oh, I'm drifting the other way now. I'm all over the place. Alright, I'll stay out here this time so we can correct some of this. Don't want to get to the end to find that all these slivers cost us. We're going to have to race back and try to catch some slivers. Mistakes. Alright, back on course now. Oh, that's right, this is a diagonal field. It goes along the diagonal. That's going to be interesting. Let's take the diagonal back. Maybe the most uh, efficient way to do this one. Whoops. Oh, get in there. Whew. That was close. Turn sharp and it wants to stop the tractor. Okay, we're going to track in. Let's see, right there. And about like that. A little closer to the edge. Okay, I think we're getting it all now. Joskin slurry tank here. So the tire's flattening a little bit. Alright, our green circle there is mostly closed up. This next pass should do it. Oops. Missed one of those buttons. Spring. That's why I was going so slow. Yeah, hopefully this is going to do it. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right, so yeah, I wasn't far off. Not much of a bonus. <laughs> All right, so there's another 6,500 or so. 4,500. Okay. Um, out of curiosity, what's next? It's plowing. Interesting. So, do we want to? I'm at, what, roughly a half hour into this episode. That's one of the big plows, though. Might be an interesting experience. Let's do it. Let's see what this does. Um, how's our equipment doing, though? 
Um, we probably should head back first and just make sure that it, that uh, everyone's doing what they need to be doing. Let's do that. Whoa. All right, start you up. The other button, other pedal. Whoa. Well, look at that. The signs do fall over. Can you pick them up? Ah, oh, you can. Should we collect signs? <laughs> In Farming Simulator 13, you'd bump the signs that fall over. In 15, when I was playing Sosnovka, I could drive right through the signs and they would ghost right through all the vehicles. I thought, oh man, it went downhill on their quality. I'm glad to see that it's back. Or at least maybe it was just the Sosnovka map in the, uh, the gold version of 15. That's what I had eventually uh, upgraded to. But um, it was nice to, you know, when I started this one, one of the first things that I did was I drove through a sign to see if it would fall over. And I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. In, in 13, the next day, all the signs would reappear, like the county road crew went through and fixed all of your damage. I don't know what will happen to this sign tomorrow. I'm thinking we'll lean it up against something, just for fun. Uh, for now, let's see. It's gone. Did it fall out the back end? We'll go look for it. But let's first see if these guys are uh, are up and running. We we're getting to the end of the plow, and I'd like to get him started on this field here. What do we got going on? I think he's up there. They're both up there. All right. They may have been a message at some point saying that. Uh, um, one is in the way of the other, and I just didn't see it. Okay. And unfortunately, we're paying her to sit there and do nothing. So you got to kind of keep an eye on those things. Fire you up. You're in the air. Back up. Don't take out the pickup. Off we go. And you're going to be fine, right? Yep, you're happy. All right. This one. Uh, well, what do we do? This is the one that I wanted to put the uh, um, the front loader on. It's the one that I thought the cultivator was on. Should we swap these out? I think we should. And I think we'll skip the... Uh, yeah, that one's almost done. We're going to skip that job down there this time. Let's put this down. And pull this guy away. And let's go finish this job ourselves. We'll make up for the fees, the wages that we lost there. Let's see... Uh, v. There we go. By her sitting there being paid to do nothing, we'll finish this job ourselves. And then we'll put this one up on the plow. This is the smaller horsepower. Yep. Can we do that? P. This is a 125. And we roll over to our plow right there. Requires 120. We can do it. Okay. That's an improvement that I do appreciate. Seems like in 2013, that version, you can run anything on anything. It wouldn't work very well. You can take a cheap little tractor and pull this humongous load up a hill at one mile an hour. And that always kind of bugged me because you could do it but it, it should have burnt that engine up. I always wish that it had some kind of a water gauge, a you know, water temperature or something to let you know when you're overworking your equipment. A little more realistic. I didn't like that I could torture a vehicle without any consequences. I'm glad that they're at least not allowing a small tractor to operate a large implement. So that's, a, that's a good improvement. Um, look at the fuel over there. Still 7 eighths full. 
so it's going to take quite a while to, to use fuel. I don't see anything on this farm to refill our tractors with, though. To drive out, there's a gas station up the road up there. Westbridge Hills had a fuel tank. Let's see, we... Now that you could uh, see what do we do with this guy. He'll eventually be used right here. So V and you. There we go. So this guy up that you could pull up to and refill. But you believe you had to pay for the fuel there. So it's basically paying re to refill the tank. Let's see. The pedal. You. There we are. All right, let's get this guy going. A little closer to the edge. Right there. All right. H. So you can stay there. The sower needs to come over here, and then we can take off and go buy some equipment. We've got 45,000. We'll see how far that goes. The sower seems to be stopped. Um, I could drive this over to that tractor, drive the tractor all the way back over here, and still have to make the run. And we'll meet them halfway. leave this right here. We're going to go that direction when we leave. Alright, let's go get that sower. So, oil radish. Oil seed radish. Let's do that in this next field so we can see how that works. I've not done that before. I've not seen it done either. I haven't seen it done in any of the Let's Plays out there. So, it'll be an interesting experience for us. You're stopped in the middle, aren't you? I bet you you ran out. There's a little problem. I think we have a problem here. It probably popped up a message, didn't it? I'm just not looking in this corner up there. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so let's... Are you in the air? You're in the air. Let's go fill up. So one tank of seed cannot do this whole field. That's interesting to know. Although it's very expensive to have them refill their own. It's not one for one. I think the numbers are quite high. I remember. So let's refill this guy. We still have lots of fertilizer. Just out of seed. So we need an extension on the seed tank here. So we pull up in between the two. We should be able to refill both. So we have wheels back there too. Alright. Tank opened up. Kind of watch, uh, watch it refill as we do this. Hit the R. Topped off the white, which is a fertilizer, and didn't do anything for the other. Why is that? R? Do I need to back up a tiny bit more? R? Ah. The, the seed tank is further forward. I'm thinking there's a distance you've got to hit. It's not going to do it. Okay, which one is it? It's the one's in the middle. So I want to get these... Uh, these, uh, what do they call them? Bag crates? I think that's what they call them. Out over along that little wall over there so I can drive right alongside both of them. And there's no chance I can't be close enough. So I think I've got to scoot the tractor over to the side here. So let's do that. Cannot see it. There we are. Alright, can we R now? There we go. Now we'll see the tank filling up, kind of. Okay, in, off we go. So we're not going to be sowing the other field yet. I, I wondered if these guys, these red tanks, were fuel, but I went up to one and refill and nothing happened. So that's just decoration. Okay, so we are in there. Let's see if we can if I can do this. Something like that. We're on our old tracks. I say we're pretty close right there. Still set to canola. 
Interesting. The uh, indicator's reversed. The canola was at the bottom when we were out there refilling. Huh. Odd. Higher. There we go. And Klaus, is there any chance that you've only got fertilizer in your sower on this field and not seed? See, the trouble I had, it easily filled up the fertilizer, but it didn't easily fill up the seed. If that's the case, then it would probably go forward a little bit, detect a problem, and then quit. So, just in case that is your issue, that might solve it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm done here. That is yet another model. Here, swept down to the side. Hiring lots of town folk for our jobs here. And the cover will not lift. Oh, I'm, I'm hired. Pardon me, the controls. I lift the covers up while we're going. Okay, eat. Let's get out of here. And you continue, but I blocked you. So, we're going to head to town and see how far $45,000 will go. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pay for the uh, the shop to install the, the front loader. Well, I could get the the uh, workshop and set it in here. Uh, it does seem a waste to to, to lose a thousand dollars this early in the game, but you got to spend twenty eight thousand dollars to keep from losing that thousand dollars. So, you know, it's a matter of perspective. somewhere around 40 minutes into this episode. Okay, we do have traffic on this road. Bridge speed 15. There's the railroad line. Okay, 35. You guys are not doing 35. 35 on a corner seems a bit fast. Is that a blinker? Boy, that, uh, <clears throat> that exhaust pipe there is really in a bad spot. Alright, this is going to drive me nuts. Let's go out to the main road. Line intersection here. Oh, we didn't go the other way. Let's come back the other way and see if our stop sign's out there somewhere. Or head out in the middle of the road. Better slid right out of the pickup, out of the bed. We've got the uh, the tailgate open. Okay, back into this view. Where is that? That's bugging me. Um, something about jumping back into the vehicle. <clears throat> Reset vehicle camera. I would think off would be what I wanted. Remembers the camera position per vehicle uh, once you exit. Let's see what the difference is. So, I've got a car behind us. I'll pop out of here and look over here and pop back in. I'm forward again. Okay, good. That's what I want. Um, let's get over here. Turn early this time, go before the store instead of after. So here we're going to have people crossing our little road, aren't we? That's probably a handicapped parking zone, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just pull right in here next to this pickup. I'm sure you won't be concerned. I will pull through. It makes it easier to leave. All right. Flashers are, or uh, beacons are still on. Okay. No. We want to get this tractor set up for the front loader. That's 
right. I'm gonna go over. I need to park over here to do that. Okay, R. Customize. So right now this guy's valued at twenty-two thousand. We'll see what it costs to buy a new one. We'll see the difference. <clears throat> Front loader, yes. Now one thing that I wish this game would do, I wish it would show you the feature. Because there are many times where you can choose a color, but it doesn't show you the color, so you have no idea what that's really going to look like. So I do wish that they would change that before they're done with Farming Simulator 17. You know, make that a you know, an updates at some point. Standard wheel setup. So we can switch from standard wheels to wide wheels. And some of them will have narrow wheels to get between the, the furrows. For what? What crop uses something like that? Potato? I don't remember. Anyway, standard wheels. It's only $800 to add the front loader attachment. But it's a $1,000 base price to have it done. So that bugs me. It'd be a zero base price if you had it done on your own property with your own mechanic shop. But for this one time, let's go ahead and do this. So that is all. Oh, that's interesting. Or you could lease the equipment for, for this amount. I guess if you were going to sell the tractor soon, you'd do this. You'd eventually get to this cost. But you wouldn't have to absorb it all right now. That's interesting. Leasing options for a short lifespan of a tractor. That is interesting. And I wonder if we get this attachment. Well, let's check that. Back, it's worth 22524 If I put this attachment on, does it increase the value? Customize. R. $22,524. Did not add to the value of the vehicle. Darn. Okay, back. And nine. And what did we just do? We added these brackets right here. So we're going to be able to hook up a, a front loader to this guy. I expected some kind of a, of a three-point hitch or something over here to operate that front loader. There's your fuel fill nozzle right there for the tank underneath. That's where you put your, your fuel in. Um, what is our fuel? I'm not seeing a diesel-only symbol or anything like that. Huh. There's your fuel tank. There's a little gasoline. Can't zoom in any. No words. Okay. But I do wonder if that works. I wonder if there is... No needle. That's your speedometer right there. It does move. Okay. Can I back up? I can. Watch the... Well, you can't really see it. Right there are the, the dial on the right. Yep, it moves. Okay. Anyway, um, let's... Where do we want to leave this guy? We'll just pull in over here. And out. And let's go buy a front loader. Okay, these are tractors. Oh, shop. All right. Anything on sale? We should get pop-ups in the corner of the screen that something's gone on sale. But you've seen how well I keep track of those pop-ups, so I do need to check this myself once in a while. Back. And we are here for a front loader to start with. The smaller one should mount to ours. And you can get all of these attachments. We'll want a bucket. We'll want the front loader. Eventually we'll get this guy for bales of hay. The great big round bales. I think this guy tucks down underneath the edges of the, the lower end of the bale. And we'll lift those up. This will clamp around something. That one for bales. I think is another one here probably for logs. A fork they're calling them. Manure. We'll scoop up some manure. Or this will help to grab it from the top. For grapple. What is grapple versus manure? I have to learn that one. And a silage cutter. Slide it in and slice down on it and take this 
this whole load and dump it into something. So all these will operate off of this guy, off of your tractor. This guy, is that a telehandler? They're in a different category. I'm just looking to see if this slides out or not. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it just goes up and down. So I guess think of this as a forklift. Does this say anything? It's called a front loader. Okay. I think of them as forklifts, but front loader maybe is more technical. Okay, we want this one. 5,400. Ouch. So 54, uh, 62, 72, 76. So 76 out of 43. So we're somewhere around 35. A little more than 35. Let's go to our trailer. <clears throat> that would be... Okay, shop. I click there. Back. All right. I want baling technology. There. This guy's 12,000, so we can do that. Good. So let's get this guy. Select. No options or upgrades. Buy. Let's get... That's not what I wanted. Scroll. There we go. This guy. We can choose a color for an additional $200 to, to paint it. Black is fine with me. So I'm going to save the money and do that. And buy him. Yes. Yes. And back. Let's grab the bucket. Universal bucket. I don't know if I pointed this out before. This will tell you everything it's able to do with all the symbols. So you can look at everything over here to see if what your equipment that you're buying is able to handle the goal that you had intended for it. You may find that that this thing can't do what you were wanting to do and that, because there's actually another one over here somewhere that's designed for that. So do notice the symbols down here. Did everybody buy the bucket? I was about to, but I was going to do this next. Um, pull out. What's sitting outside on the yard? I bought the front loader only. Okay. R. R. There we go. Back into here. Bucket. Select. Same color. Buy. Back out. Forklift. Or pallet fork, they call it. Select. Same color. Buy. Yes. Okay. Back. And let's think about some more of these guys. I don't know how far they're going to last. I suspect they're going to last for a while at the rate that we're making videos. Yeah, I'm finding all kinds of different distractions to do. So maybe we'll just get one of each right now. And once we get a sense of how long they'll last, then we'll uh, decide, you know, that we're going to use up the seed much faster than the, the fertilizer. So we get three of these for every one of these or, or whatever it's going to turn out to be. Here's where you buy your trees when you're doing the forestry part of the game. So saplings and poplar saplings. These guys will turn into trees. I've not seen these grow up. I've only seen small versions of them. So I don't know if they actually become full-grown trees or if they're something that you harvest when they're, you know, maybe 10 feet tall and, and they're just for grinding up and turning into chips. These should give you full-blown trees that you'll use a chainsaw to take down. Chainsaws are right over here, and you got all of your your uh, popular brands. Let me see. Oh, I've only got four to choose from. Okay. They don't have a pull-in. I've got a pull-in. So I've used a still. I've used a McCulloch. They're all good names. They're all, all good equipment. So back up. What were we doing? We're doing placeable. No, we're doing pallets. Placeables. We did this already. This is that one I'm to, I've been talking about. The vehicle workshop. So this guy will allow you to put on the front loader brackets without that $1,000 charge. So $28,000 to buy it. So you'll save all the charges. In fact, it'll probably let you change the paint and the color of things without that fee as well. So I guess it would you would recoup the 28000 fairly quickly. Okay. Here's the water tower I was talking about by the trains where you can fill up your tanks. But this does sound like a good idea. Let's do a few more jobs and then get this guy placed sooner than later. So then start taking advantage of that savings. So back to these guys. 
Is there anything else? I haven't looked at cars before. There's our Lizard Rodeo versus the more modern pickup with the little pretend bed in the back that you can't really get much in, into. <laughs> I like the double cab, but I would love to see a double cab with a full eight-foot bed back there. You get the shorter beds, you really get limited. Can't put a piece of plywood in there. So, yeah, we'll stick to this guy. But let me show you what I was talking about. Select. You do have not only the ability to change colors, but you can change your engine setup to from 100 horsepower to 165 to 190. Though it costs you another $22,000 and $20,000 to install it. Ridiculous when you think of you're know, really just replacing the engine and transmission in it. But again, time is compressed in this game. So we're going to, by the time we're done with this series, we're probably going to see the equivalent of 20 years of seasons of uh, all the different uh, um, uh, harvests that we're going to do. So the money is exaggerated as well as time. So that's the way you've got to think about it. Change your color and your wheels. Unfortunately, like I said, it doesn't show you. So I'm going to have to go out of the game and ask, what does Design 4 look like? In order to know that the $300 I'm spending is worth spending it. So that's that's an issue that I've got. I really wish that you'd see a little change in your, your, your display. Or pop up something else with all eight tires sitting there. So we can see what that means. Then your rim color. But we're going to back out of this guy. Back out of there. Let's get this guy bought. We want one of these. Buy. Yes. Okay. One of these. Buy. Yes. Okay. One of these. All right, we're not going to get into pig food. We will wait to see if we're ever going to get into pig food. We may buy one just to see what it's like, but I would prefer to go to the trouble to to work on all four of the needs that you can dump into the pigs to uh, to improve their, their food. But I'm guessing this is probably to replace all four of those. So it's it's got all the nutrients in one package, but you're going to pay a lot more for it, for the convenience. Anyway, are we done here? I believe we are. Here's everything we just bought. We'll grab our tractor, put on the front loader, put on probably the bucket, bring the bucket over, drop it off, head back over, hook up the fork, grab all three of these, put them on here, strap it on. Our strap's right there. You hit R to place it, but it won't. It will place it. Okay. I was going to say it won't place it unless there's something there. And then uh, hook up our tractor to the front and drive home next time. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.